Last week, the EPPED Group Presidency met with the heads of national delegations in Tallinn, capital of Estonia. Following the invitation of Tunik Elam, head of the Estonian delegation of the EPPED Group, the presidency of the group discussed issues of the utmost importance for the region, such as security of citizens, the EU's external borders, EU-Russia relations, Baltic Sea strategy and cyber defence. Opening the meeting, Joseph Dahl, president of the EPPED group, said that this is a symbolic meeting which takes place almost five years after the Estonian accession to the EU and 60 years after the deportation to Siberia of 100,000 Estonians and other Baltic country citizens. In his speech, Tunik Elam welcomed the EPPED members to Tallinn, underlining the spirit of solidarity that the EPPED political family has shown towards Estonia, especially during the foreign-inspired riots two years ago, and recently by promoting a resolution adopted by the European Parliament on the crimes of criminal dictatorships. Addressing the meeting, Mart Lahr, former Prime Minister of Estonia and current chairman of the Pro Patria and Res Publica Union, said that the EPPED group was almost the only political group to defend human rights and democracy and to work for the reunification of Europe. The EPPED is still the driving force of Europe, he concluded. The main debate focused on EU-Russian relations. Opening the session, Gunnar Huckmark, vice chairman of the EPPED group, said relations have to be both firm and open. I think the key element is that we need to respect and understand the different positions and the different uh, problems each member state has in, respect, uh, in the perspective of Russia. Uh, Swedes need to understand that Estonia has a very special situation. Estonians need to understand that everything is not as important for Portugal as for Estonia and Sweden. And on that basis we can form a realistic policy that could be a common foreign policy versus Russia. And I, I think the key elements are firm but open, open but firm, meaning that we shall invite Russians and Russia to cooperate, but we shall be firm on the basis of that cooperation. It must be based on fundamental values and the respect of Russia for those values. The director of the Baltic Sea Centre for Russian Studies, Vladimir Yushkin, outlined the substantial influence of the Russian Secret Service in the Russian government and talked about the moral obligations of the West to European Russians. The present political regime of Russia is very specific. Russia is not an empire. There is no ruling political party. There is a corporation of agents and officers of the secret services. If we take 1,016 senior positions in the administration, 70% of them are former officers of the secret services. These people have a special education, special goals, and this makes them different from European politicians. This is the main reason why the dialogue between the EU and Russia is not successful. I don't think that European politicians are so naive. Putin has turned Russia to an autocratic country. But nevertheless, there are the interests of energy supply, gas, economic interests, and European politicians highly value these interests. However, at the same time, there are Russian Europeans who think that Russia is not normal country. These people constitute approximately 30% of the Russian population and European politicians are making a big mistake not to notice and not to consider these European Russians. If they don't, then the West will be responsible for ignoring their needs. Marco Mikkelsen, chairman of the EU Affairs Committee in the Estonian Parliament, said that relations with Russia have not been easy. The aim now is to create normal relations with Russia, and according to him, the problems are not only Russian, but mainly European. We deal with uh, here in a situation where Russia is uh, centralized, uh, strongly authoritarian uh, state, which uh, carries out foreign policy, uh, let's say by the book, and uh, knows pretty well that uh, the problems uh, in the European Union are to come to, to common position uh, on issues like energy policy or uh, in general policy, foreign policy towards Russia. In that regard I say that uh, I think so the problem is not in Russia uh, but in uh, inside of European Union where uh, differences still are too big and too wide to come together and strong, consistent uh, and efficient uh, policy uh, towards Russia and I think so in this regard uh, EPP fraction 
plays a crucial role in the European Parliament, but in European policy uh, scenes generally, and uh, in, in a way binding differences and uh, uh, pushing the European Union and member states, but also uh, politicians and fractions to uh, uh, to act currently, uh, consistently and commonly towards Russia.